Okay, so for this first video for the lab, um, I'm going to be simulating a type of genetic drift known as the founder effect, all right? So again, what genetic drift is, is basically it's a mechanism of evolution that takes place in really small populations where because there's only a few alleles, removing one or two alleles may result in a pretty large shift of the population. So even if the population grows to normal size years later, you may still have a smaller amount of alleles. We see this a lot in um, like animal species that almost went extinct. For example, they have their, their population isn't as healthy even when it gets bigger later on. We've seen this in cheetahs. We've seen this, I talked about it in the notes, um, the northern elephant seal as well. Okay, so here's the idea. We have right here, we have 20, a population of 24 M&Ms. They're all living in their little M&M homes, all right? And like I said, this video is going to go over the founder effect. So if you'd like to pause this video so you can count all the little M&Ms, you can do it now. Um, Will I wait here. Just a little bit longer. I'm trying to hold the camera steady. Okay, so now I am going to randomly pick up, um, um, I think it's six, but let me check. Hey, okay, so it is Six M&Ms, all right, so I'm just gonna grab one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna grab these M&Ms, and then, woo, it's a hurricane, oh no. And then they are going to end up over here. So now we have, this is a deserted island. And so now you see, there is a different amount of M&Ms here. So I'll just wait, zoom in. Just kind of wait so you can take these. So you see one yellow M&M, two blue M&Ms, one green M&M, one orange M&M, one red M&M, and then one brown M&M. Cool, cool. All right, next video.